But one of the biggest turning points in my life is that I had to learn that I am not made to be like everybody else. I'm not made to fit in. I'm made to stand out. Now, for me, you know, yes, I grew up in church and I know all the church lingo, church culture, both my parents missed in the church. And, you know, I kind of felt a little shame, a little rejection, you know, growing up because, you know, I went to church and I believed in God and I wanted to do things the right way. But I also was around peers that, that didn't want to, you know, be, you know, like the church. They didn't want to be in church or they just wasn't associated with the church. And they had some that were in the church, but they had totally different lifestyles outside of it. So I kind of felt like I was the oddball and that, you know, I had to prove myself that, oh, I was this bad girl. I wasn't this good girl. I'll, you know, like people think that, you know, I wanted to be the person that everybody wants to be around, wants to be the cool girl, wanted to drink, party, do whatever I wanted to do with my body because I was trying to prove something because I felt rejected on the inside. But as I grew older and as I, you know, had to face some real hard consequences from trying to be like everybody else, I came to understand it that, hey, it's okay to stand out. It's okay to be different. You know, I'm not ashamed of how I was raised. I'm not ashamed of my Christian background. Um, I'm not ashamed to say that, hey, I grew up in church. I went to church, that I love God, have a relationship with God, because that was the life. That was what helps me to stay on the right path. That would help me, you know, to stay in my right mind. But instead of plenty of times, I could have lost it completely could have lost it. And as a person that dealt with, you know, those crazy thoughts of wanting to, you know, take myself out of this earth, wanting to just leave because, you know, I feel like nobody didn't care about me, nobody didn't love me. You know, I thank God for the teachers I had growing up that was inside me that I had to go back to, you know, when I went you know, do those things in my life. So it's okay to stand out. It's okay to be different. I'm not the party girl. I'm not the gossip girl. Um, you know, it's on my channel. I don't really do commentary like that because I don't want to, you know, put myself out there as somebody that talk about this person, that person, because some things do come and bite you. You know, I don't want to keep up all the church news, but I just want to have real life conversations because I know at some point in life, you know, you have to grow up, you have to mature, you have to make different decisions. So I wanted to just share that with y'all and just help someone out there that, hey, you know, regardless of how you feel in this moment where you're trying to make those right changes in your life, that keep going. And yeah, there are other people out there that are trying to do the right thing. So don't just think that you're by yourself. But I know that when you're trying to follow the crowd, it never works out for you. Trust me, it doesn't.